getting it in here. He's like, yay. <laughs> It's nice having good neighbors where you could just look out your window and see your boy swinging. <laughs> Molly. Hello everyone, Rich at Revere Urban Homestead. Today we are gonna Whoa. Hello. Hello. Today we are gonna transplant the Barbados cherry tree. I wanna show you that and we'll go check out the lime tree I transplanted last week, see how it's doing, and uh, we'll see what else we can get into. So, first thing I gotta do is poop duty. Boy, that dog has some stinky poops. All right, so I got poop duty done. Weed whacked the areas that are high grass. Now let's go out front to the Barbados cherry tree. Talk about that a little. Okay, guys, so here's my Barbados cherry tree, also known as uh, Ac Acerola tree. Now these things, if not pruned, they can get about eight foot tall and about a seven foot area all around. But you can prune them to be hedges, you can prune them to be in containers, or you can let them grow to be decent sized little trees. They are a tropical cherry plant, like from uh, Caribbeans and such. I have a plane going overhead, I hope you can still hear me. And the way this tree works, it flowers one month, and then it'll fruit the next month. It'll flower the next month. Fruit the next month. So literally you get, as long as it's warm, this will produce fruit all year long. You definitely want to pick the cherries when they are ripe, when they're a dark red to almost a purple. And as you can see, in this little pot, I am already getting flowers. Let me zoom in a little. Show you the flowers. Yep, already getting some flowers on there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get it out of this pot and we are going to put it into the bed that I made right here. I think we're going to try and set it right there and see how it does there. Now the Barbados cherry tree does like full sun. You can put this in full sun all day and not worry about it. This area will get partial shade, but they say they grow like that as well. The Barbados cherry is said to have the highest vitamin C content of any food, like 15 times more than the orange. And the fruit itself, when you eat it, it usually has just like three seeds, not like a pit like a normal cherry you buy at the store. So we're going to get this planted um, and see how it does in this raised bed so let's get going all right so first thing i'm going to do obviously is dig out a big enough hole for it get all these roots out of here okay i'm going to go get some of the chicken compost and lay it in there so hold on one second Okay, so I'm just going to stir in a little bit of compost. I also put about two tablespoons of blood meal in here and uh, about a tablespoon of organic fertilizer granule. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold it, flip it over. Alright. 
So now when you're burying that, you don't want to bury the exposed roots at the very top. Because if you do, that would could possibly uh, suffocate it. It breathes through the crown. So leave that crown a little bit above. Okay, so now that I have it planted, I'm going to put a bunch of uh, wood chips on it to keep the moisture in. And let's water it in a little. Alright guys, so I'm hoping that area is going to be good for it. I hope it flourishes. I will keep it pruned probably to the top of the window. Try and keep it like a little bush right there. And hopefully we get some cherries. But I hope that's a good spot for it. Um, we're, we'll just monitor it and see what... Hey, well, you like it there, don't you? Barbados cherry tree. Well, going to be a bush. I believe I did a video on when I actually got it. So I'll put a link at the bottom of this in the descriptions of when I planted it so you could see how small it was at that time. Alright, let's go see how that lime tree is doing. That was pretty much almost dead in the pot, but then I transplanted it out in the backyard. We just got to go past all of our sweet potatoes that are still growing very nicely. I'm hoping it is recovering a little. I totally kind of stopped watching it and I didn't even realize it was dying until it was, well, kind of too late. Okay, so, you know what? I already see right here new growth starting. Okay. There's already new growth starting on it. Cool. So actually that might recover. I hope so. What's up? Where are your sisters? They like to hide under here in the jungle. No, they're not under there though. They must be inside. Yeah. There's another one. So the third one can't be too far away. Here we go. Alright, all three accounted for. So there you go, guys. Clean the backyard up a little. This little lime tree, I hope, actually starts growing over here nicely. The Barbados cherry tree in the front, hopefully that takes off. And I think the next thing we're going to transplant is the container orange tree. We're going to put it out here somewhere. I think probably where this bush is growing. I might take this out and I might plant it right in this area. So then we'd have our lime, have our orange tree over here. Excuse me. Why are you uh, pecking my legs? <laughs> so yeah, we're getting some things transplanted, getting them out of the pots. So that's it guys, hopefully we get some tropical cherry fruit, that would be awesome. I do live in South Florida, Zone 9, so it's pretty tropical out here. Hmm. wonder what that is. I don't know. But anyway, guys, um, that's all I'm doing today. I have to go help my brother start moving. So just a short video on transplanting that Barbados cherry, update on the lime, and that's it. I'm out. You guys have a good week at work, and I'll talk to you next weekend. Peace.